Are you considering T-Nex as the plant growth regulator for your golf course lawn? If so, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I talk all about T-Nex, how it works, how to mix it, as well as some of the pros and cons. Finally, you'll get to see me apply it to my golf course lawn. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. So today we're gonna to be talking all about T-Nex, which is a plant growth regulator. If you wanna see an exhaustive discussion all about the different classes of plant growth regulators, uh, the pros and cons of each, how they work, be sure to check my card here. I've got like an 18 minute or something video where I talk about PGRs in detail. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know about them. Uh, so check that out if you want even more information. Uh, today we're going to be applying T-Nex, which is a Class A uh, PGR. Uh, really quickly, the benefits of plant growth regulators on your turf is one, less frequent mowing. So um, if you're, during the summer time, whenever you're mowing it at lower heights, um, to maintain half an inch or less on Bermuda, you're going to need to be out there mowing, you know, every other day at a minimum to kind of keep the, the lawn nice and still preserve that green color. Um, a second advantage of them is that the, the leaf density, when, you, when, a, when the turf is applied with PGRs, tends to get more dense, a little thicker. So as far as getting that really thick carpet feel, uh, PGRs are, are excellent for that. And then uh, third, as far as uh, one of the major advantages is just color. So while the lawn looks pretty good right now, with plant growth regulator applied, it's gonna look even that much better. So with uh, T-Nex, uh, this is a class A plant growth regulator, a, plant, a class A PGR. And the active ingredient in this is trinexapac ethyl. Um, and what that is, is it interrupts gibberellic acid synthesis um, uh, later on in the cycle, so in the leaf. So in a, in, in a nutshell, the idea of how you want to apply this is on days like today, when we're not going to get a lot of rain, when the turf is dry, and when you can apply it to the grass and allow it to dry on the turf. So again, this, this is one of those ones where you, when you apply it, you're not going to want to water it in. Apply it to the turf and, and let it dry. So the advantage of T-Nex over some other PGRs, uh, again, I, I've used type Paclo 2SC as, as a PGR in the past, um, but the advantage to this particular type and to, to class A's in general is that they work a little bit faster. So whereas the other PGRs take seven to 10 days to start up, this guy in two to three days, you're gonna start seeing results as far as it arresting growth in the turf. But of course, there's no free lunch. The, the disadvantage to T-Nex is that in, in some cases, and it's something that I've, I've seen personally in my turf, is that once you apply it, um, the, the grass temporarily now will, will get uh, turn a little bit yellow. So whereas it's like a nice vibrant green now, after I apply this probably three or four days after, I'll see like a, a slight yellowish tinge. It almost looks kind of like a, like a mild fertilizer burn. Not quite that severe, but just the, 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 the nice uh, green sheen that's on the, on the lawn now goes away. Now, as soon as I mow, it comes right back and you're good for the, uh, you know, for the rest of the time that this product is effective. As far as effective, uh, the time of eff efficacy, uh, T-Nex lasts about three to four weeks um, between applications, depending on rain, how much rain you get, um, fertilization, and, a, and a, a couple other factors. But pretty much if you plan for three to four weeks, uh, that's about how much regulation, growth regulation you're gonna get uh, out of this product. As far as how to apply it or how you mix it, for Bermuda, um, you're gonna wanna uh, apply this at a rate of between 0.25 ounces per thousand square feet up to 0.38 ounces per thousand square feet. So uh, the higher number, and, and just, just for reference, I'll put um, the chart up on the screen here, just, just briefly up here, uh, so you guys can see that. Um, the, that range uh, depends on your Bermuda type. So if you're using like a Tiffway Bermuda, which is primarily what mine is, I'm overseeded with some Arden 15 and Princess 77, you can opt for the higher rate, um, which is 0.38, which is what I'm gonna be putting down today since this is my first T-Nex uh, application of the season. I really wanna get uh, you know, a, good, a good application down on the turf. But if you're dealing with um, Zoysia or if you're dealing with a, um, you know, some of the other common Bermudas, you know, back it down a little bit. Um, uh, bias more towards that 0.25 um, ounce per square, per thousand square foot number. So again, uh, with, with plant growth regulators, more is not better. You don't want to apply this stuff any heavier than you absolutely have to. And again, between 0.25 and 0.38 is about where you want to be as far as uh, application rates per thousand square feet. So I've already measured some out here in my, in my cup and I'll bring this in for you guys. Uh, what I always recommend doing is whenever you're using a measuring utensil like this is again, I've said this before in other videos, but fill it with water and put it on a scale and actually measure when you get the, the, the correct weight that you're looking for. So this mark right here is um, 0.38 ounces 
uh, in, this, in this measuring cup, so that's what I'm gonna be using. As far as how to mix this, you're gonna need some kind of a backpack spray or some other um, type of spraying um, um, tool to put it down. So I've got my trusty chap in here, and this is what I'm gonna be using today. You'll notice that I've filled the backpack sprayer halfway full with water, which is what you wanna do. So you can fill this halfway up with water, apply the product to it, and then continue filling it. Uh, like um, well, any of these other products, um, this, this particular um, PGO, when I've applied it before in the past, if it gets in your eyes, if the mist gets in your eyes, it tends to burn, tends to sting. So absolutely, you're gonna to wanna to have some eye protection at a minimum when you're applying this stuff, okay? So I put my eye pro on and uh, let's get to it. So I'll pour this in see that and then I'll rinse out the product into my cup out of the cup into the sprayer because again this stuff is is pretty expensive it's expensive for you know compared to other products but compared to plant growth regulators it's actually not that bad uh, uh, t-nex goes for hundred and fifty dollars thereabouts per bottle I'll put a link to it on Amazon of where you guys can pick that up um, I think Amazon delivers really fast if you get this order through them. So literally, I, you can order this and like uh, two, or eight, two or three days later, it'll be sitting uh, on, on your doorstep. So there is definitely that. All right, so let's cap this off. And I'll give it a good mix. Nice back and forth agitation like that. All right, guys, so kind of like what you've seen in my other videos, a thousand square feet on my lawn is, goes from uh, these shrubs out past where that purple plant is. So I'm just gonna apply this uh, to, the, to the turf now. As far as how to apply it, just smooth overlapping passes. More is not better, just put it down at the, at the, uh, the recommended rate. So we can start that now. You'll see I'm just making a smooth, easy pass down and then come back and overlap just like that just like what you're seeing here. And I'm just gonna rinse and repeat this for the rest of the lawn. So again, uh, you wanna pick a, a warm, not necessarily a warm day, but a day when there's not, you don't expect rain in the forecast because for these products to work, for T-Nex to work, remember, it has to get onto the leaf and it has to dry on the leaf. So you wanna pick a day when um, it's gonna be dry and you don't expect rain for the next you know, 24 hours or so, ideally for the best results. So let's throw the rest of this product down. Well, there you go, YouTube. T-Nex applied to a thousand square feet of the lawn. I still got to finish up the rest of the turf, but I wanted to, to just close out here and chat with you guys a little bit. As far as um, what to expect, again, kind of like what I said earlier, uh, I expect within two to three days, I'm going to see a little bit of yellowing uh, to, to the turf. I'll be sure to shoot an update video and show you guys that. It should be a pretty quick one, but I just want to uh, show you guys what to expect so that if you, you guys are also doing this to your lawn, and if you see a slight change in color, you don't get worried and think that you did something bad or, or, or there's a problem. Again, it's completely normal, with, uh, particularly with, with T-Nex, which again is a generic version of Primo Max. Um, to get a little bit of, uh, of, of discoloration to the turf. Again, it doesn't last very long. Uh, typically after the first time you, after you mow it, it goes away and then you're, and you're, you're good to go. So as far as, as um, my lawn care program, remember like I'm applying T-Nex, but I've also um, two weeks ago also applied uh, Tidepaclo 2SC. I like to, to stack my, my, my PGRs. So I, I started out with, um, with Tide, uh, Tidepaclo two weeks ago. And then today I'm putting down T-Nex and because the, the efficacy of both of them will wear off around the same time, about, oh, uh, six weeks, another four weeks from now, four to, four to five weeks from now, um, at that point, I'll apply both at the same time as we enter the, that summer heat and where I'm really trying to arrest growth in the turf grass. So guys, if you guys have any questions, please sure to let me know in the comments below. If you guys have tried T-Nex or Podium or some other PGR, let me know how it's worked out for you. I've had personally really good results with it, but I'd like to hear about any stories where you guys had results that were, were less than stellar, or if there's any other tips you guys have as far as applying uh, the, the, the product. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, if I can help with anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.